Once you realize this, it really unlocks your earning potential as a photographer. Hey guys, it's Krista. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my studio. I am a boudoir photographer in St. Louis and on this channel, I am here to help photographers make money. So if that is something you're interested in, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So today I want to talk about something I think is kind of like uh, once you realize this, it really unlocks your earning potential as a photographer. And that is understanding that you're actually selling two different things. Now, what do you mean? You're a photographer, you, you're, you're taking photos, you're selling photos, right? But notice what I said, you're taking photos and you're selling photos. So what we are actually doing as photographers is the first thing that we are doing is we are providing an experience. We are providing a service. And so selling a service is very different than selling a product, which the products we sell are our images, right? So when you think about these as two separate things, it actually makes it a lot easier to start making more money and charging more money because people are now thinking about it as two siloed experiences or options. So for me personally, I have a separate session fee than my products. And the reason that I do this is because I can put my sessions on sale, right? And people, people love sales, regardless of what price, point that you are at, people love sales. And it's all about the psychology of pricing and getting people in the door. And if you can put your session on sale for $49, $99, whatever, you are still making money on the back end, which is your actual product, right? And selling your products is very different than selling the experience that you are offering as a photographer. So let's talk about this for a second. If you are a photographer that isn't offering hair and makeup, how do you sell an experience, right? So you're saying if the only thing you're doing is showing up, taking photos and leaving, you probably need to do some work on your business. So even if that means sending out guides, sending out um, maybe what to wear guides, that can be part of the experience that you offer, helping plan outfits, that can be part of the experience that you offer as part of your service. If you shoot outside, maybe it includes scouting locations and sending potential photograph locations to your clients. These are all things you can include as part of your service. And the reason that this is a very powerful tool is because your experience is going to really be the most important part of your business, right? Like if somebody has a really bad experience with you, even if the photos are amazing, th that client's not coming back. That client's not booking with you again. That client is not telling your friends about you. So being able to sell an exceptional service in and of itself is a very powerful tool to increase your income, increase the amount of reviews you get, etc. So my service includes hair and makeup, right? Cause I'm all about a luxury boudoir, self pampering, and that aligns with my brand. So hair and makeup, I include outfits because I want you know, somebody, I don't want anybody to have to worry about what they're doing when they arrive here. So it is a full service studio. We have hair, we have makeup, we have outfits. And a lot of people choose to come with outfits and they can come prepared, but that, they don't have to, right? And that is part of the experience that I am selling as a photographer. And of course, it includes the photo shoot, which I am 100% directing. And again, that is part of the experience that I am selling. And it also includes a same day image reveal. Again, that is part of the experience I am selling. And if you haven't gotten it by now, you package all of this up and that's the day that's literally just me taking the photos is really what I do on that day. I take the photos, I do light editing and I show them their photos the same day. But all of that is able to be packaged into an experience that I can sell people. I sell people experiences. 
And I also sell people products and things like that. But when I'm advertising, when I'm marketing, my brand is around the experience. And I price my experience at 149. That's because that barrier to entry is high enough to, to validate that the people coming into my studio are willing to invest in themselves and the photos, but it's also low enough where it's not like scary. There's no commitment, right? If they hate all of their photos, which I've never had somebody do this, but if they hate all of their photos, they don't have to purchase anything outside of the experience. And that experience is still separate from the images, right? So if you're able to really take your service as a photographer and turn it into an experience, you're going to book more sessions and in turn, you're just going to sell more images. So let's talk about the collection side. I'm not sure what order I'm posting these videos in, but once it's posted, I do have a video going over how to price your collections. Now, the reason I sell my collection separate is because I think each of my images is very, very valuable, not only to my client, but it holds a certain monetary value to me. And when somebody has a great experience, it's a lot easier to sell them on their photos. So by the time we get to the photos, it's going through the photos, which, which ones do you like? okay, how many photos is that? This is what those photos are gonna be, right? Like, I don't really have to sell anything at that point. It's mostly like, these are my options, what do you want? And we do that. And I haven't had a no sale since like, gosh, probably like the first couple months of me opening my business, because it is, <laughs> it's an experience when somebody comes in, you spend a whole day with them and then they don't buy anything. And I've made sure to correct that, even though I don't ever force anybody to buy anything, right? But if they have committed and gone through the experience, they are going to want to buy these images on the backside because they are already so invested in you and your business and the experience that you provided them, right? So today, as an example, the um, client that I had liked 22 images. So she bought my 20 image package, which is $1,300, right? And I've basically done about four hours of work today and made $1,300. So there, if your experience is strong enough, you can go on the back end and you can sell your clients $1,000 photos, $2,000 photos. My $1,300 package is my lowest package, right? And I have clients who come in and they're like, I want everything. Like they don't even have to pick and they just, they pay me and they're on about their day. And so when you realize that you're selling two different things, cause I don't want to sell images when somebody hasn't like emotionally or financially bought into the experience that they're going to have with me in my studio. So as you go through building your photography business, think about that. What is the experience that I can sell? And then how am I going to take that experience, get people, you know, give them the best service, that I can possibly give them, give them the best experience, give them the best photos. So by the time I'm over here selling them their images, it makes it really, really, really easy to make the sale. Okay guys, I hope this video was useful. I have a lot of free resources linked down below. So make sure you check them out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.